All right, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Mayflower, and as always, hope all you guys are having a great day. If you didn't already know, I did release a Billie Eilish remix a couple of days ago, and um, yeah, I don't know. It, it seems like um, a lot of you guys seem to enjoy the song, so thank you guys for uh, the, the positive feedback and support. It's really cool. It was a fun little remix to work on, but it was way harder than I thought it would be for um, the little obstacles I had to go through that I'll get into in the video. Um, but yeah, I think it still turned out pretty good. So yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to open up the project file, see if I can uh, show you guys around and, you know, break down the song. I think there's a couple cool things in there that I can show you guys. Um, a lot of weird things going on in this project file. It's not the prettiest, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll still try to explain it the best I can. <laughs> so yeah, once again, thank you guys for the support on the track. And um, yeah, let's just jump right into this. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside of the project file. As always, really messy and unorganized. Um, I don't know, it's just the way I work. Um, but yeah, as I was saying in the intro, this is one of the most difficult remixes I've ever made. Um, and that's for one reason in particular. And before I even tried to remix this song, I did look up like a quick search of how many people have already done it. And to my surprise, it's been almost no one. Um, and there's me, only four spots down, which shouldn't really happen for an artist as remixed as much as Billie Eilish is. Um, so in my head, I was like, what is going on here? Why has no one touched this song? Um, and then I shortly figured out after about five minutes of working on it that it is in three-fourths time, which is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I've heard a couple tracks this year getting, you know, pretty experimental. Um, one being, you know, the biggest one, Polyrhythm by Phonon. So what I did throughout this entire track was I basically made a song in 4-4 four, four time with an acapella from a song that's in 3-4. Like, I don't, I don't even know if that's legal. But you know, in my opinion, it is music, it is art, so... Um, I don't know, do do whatever you want to do. If it sounds cool, it is cool. That's kind of how I see it. So keep that in mind. That'll play a huge role in the breakdown when we get to the drop. Um, but first, let's go to the intro, which is actually pretty simple. I actually kept the BPM at 124, which is the same as the original song. So basically for this entire intro, I just beefed up the original idea. So in the real song, it's just her voice with like a slight pad under it. So I put a louder pad and then I put a bass line under it just to reinforce it a little bit, along with a pitched up version and a pitched down version of her voice. Um, and luckily I did find the original MIDI for this track, so that's what this pad is kind of going through. Um, yeah, without this, this I probably couldn't have done this because the timing would have been all off and I don't know, this is crazy. Um, but I did only use two parts of this entire MIDI. I have this part for the intro and then the chorus is right here. Um, but one cool thing I did do for the intro is I put um, these little vocal chops at the ends of each phrase. So that's what these are. And the next one. Um, so those sounded kind of dry, so if we go into the mixer um, and turn on that channel, I do have two instances of Cymatics Pluto on there, um, which I have um, shown in one of my other videos as well. Um, it really is a dope plugin though, they gave me early access to it and I have been using it ever since. This first one right here is a preset for some reverb, so we go down here, factory, reverb, and this one is the seller one. Um, and the one I have running under it is some delay from the same plugin. This one is a preset called Psych Pong under the delay settings. So with both of those turned on, this is what the vocal chops sound like now. Actually, I use this plugin for a lot of this song. I'll go into the audio clip sources over here. This is how many versions of the song I have like chopped up, which is actually quite a few. You know, sometimes you go into mad scientist mode, it's all good. <laughs> so if you guys wanna check this out for yourselves, they always offer, you know, seven day free trials on their website and it's, uh, it's really cool. So uh, go try it. And yeah, as always, I'll put the link in the description for you guys. So like I said, really simple intro and we're already to kind of the drop um, and it kind of drops in out of nowhere. Um, but I don't, I don't know, I, I kind of like it like that, you know, um, you know, the contrast of the intro and her vocals being so soft to it kind of dropping with a hard drum beat out of nowhere. I don't know. I think it's just kind of cool. Well, let's take a look at what's going on here. I will solo just the drum loop for you guys so you can hear that. Um, and yeah, you know, that's half the battle. If you have a solid drum loop, you know, you can throw pretty much anything on top of it and it's gonna sound all right. So if we go in here, the first thing you actually hear in the drop is this little vocal chop, which I think is my favorite part of the entire track. It just fits really well. It's actually in SliceX. I just imported the entire song in here and I kind of made this little phrase. 
um, along with the bass and her hums. And all together that sounds like this. Um, so back to the three-fourths time signature idea. Um, that's what these big holes are in the drop. They're actually not for style. Um, it's actually because the phrase doesn't reach. So right here you have her, you know, going through the chorus saying, yeah, like it like that, blah, blah, blah. You know, I can't sing, whatever. And if we take a look at the MIDI, it's the exact same phrasing and it cuts off at the exact same time. And as you can see, it does not reach. It cuts off right here. So if we drag that exact same phrase at the beginning, just so you can see, um, you know, the bars more easily, um, this one only goes to here, which is kind of weird. Um, but we can actually go into FL Studio and change the time signature. So keep an eye on where this is, and we'll go into three-fourths mode, and boom, it instantly, you know, gets longer. Now it lasts the full phrase. Um, so that's what that is. I put an extra clap at the end of each phrase and some silence, and that's actually um, the beat um, catching back up with the phrase so it can restart the cycle. <laughs> way more difficult than it needed to be because I was always going back and like, how long is this actually? Um, so if you don't know much about Billie Eilish and her music, um, Billie Eilish as a name is basically a duo between her and her brother. They work on all the tracks together and um, her brother Phineas is literally one of the best producers like in the world. Um, he has a lot of videos on YouTube of him in the studio that you can learn a lot from. The dude is an absolute madman. Throughout all of her music, he has all these like weird like ear candy things that'll either be like panned left or panned right that you can like barely hear on the first listen, but if you dial in, they really do like stick out. So that's what some of these are. One of the top comments on the video was like, how much flume do you want? And then it was like me and I was like, yes. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. And most of that probably comes from me using this um, kind of granulized drum loop that I made over here. I can just play it on its own. You can add like a lot of style in the breaks with those kind of off pattern drums. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know how to make stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to give you like a little rundown of how you can make at least a basic version of something like this. So this right here is Quanta, one of my favorite plugins um, for vocals, for drums. Uh, pretty much everything you can throw in here and it's gonna sound kind of cool. So this is exactly what I did in the song. I just had the drums bounced out like this. Repeated a bunch of times. Let's go that far. And then we just play that on a loop and then mess around with some of the effects. And you hear those loops kind of chopped up almost through the entire remix. And then after that, it goes straight into the build. The timing of when the build starts really doesn't make any sense. It just was a good place to start it because their voice kind of like dips out right here. Um, and then I just have some like basic riser effects and drum loops for the build. Um, not much to explain there. <laughs> So as you can hear, the second drop is more like grand and more trap-like and like in your face. And the first thing you hear on this is actually a alternate vocal chop that I made. I was gonna use this for um, the first one, um, but then I just ended up sticking it at the end. Um, same idea here though, just another part of the acapella. And we came up with this little loop. And the effects chain on this one is pretty crazy. We got camel crusher, um, compression, uh, more distortion, some reverb, some more compression, and then to top it off, just an EQ. After all that, this is what it sounds like again. And then under that, to add to kind of like, you know, the trappy future bassness of this song, we have this um, pretty large chord stack right here, which is with the uh, the MIDI notes. Just some really basic chord stacks, but the majority of it is coming from contact right here, and it's actually like um, some like brass samples. Um, and we also have a Cthulhu doing some ARP runs as well. 
and all those blend together to give it like a uh, distorted chord stack kind of feel. <laughs> And then, yeah, all together it sounds like this. Um, and then finally, at the very end of this, I give anyone who is insane enough to try to DJ this, or at least throw it in a mix, a fighting chance. So I, uh, I kind of just let it play out with the original melody over these like uh, little plucks. And then of course end it with a big psh, just to, you know, maybe you can mix that at the end or something. But yeah, everyone asked me like what the master chain is on like a remix like this, because obviously, you know, um, this song's already produced at like top quality. If you do any like uh, sort of compression, you're probably gonna, you know, over push it and it's gonna sound distorted. But yeah, this is what the uh, the master chain looks like. It's not too much. We have a Fab Filter Pro Q2 um, cutting off some of the sides. Um, we have another EQ that was for effect, so we're just gonna ignore that. Um, balance that was also for effect on the build. Um, we have a glue compressor. Also, on a lot of my tracks, I do put a glue compressor on the master just to kind of tie everything together. And um, I have this button turned off so I can do it manually with the Fruity Soft Clipper. And that is the last thing in the chain. But yeah, overall, this was a really simple project file, um, even though it is pretty messy, but uh, whatever. But I think that's all I have time to show you guys today. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I love seeing other artists' project files, like even if they're not like, uh, you know, going through it in depth, just like seeing it with the sounds and like where everything's at. Um, it's, it's a big help for me. So I hope this at least does kind of the same for you guys. But yeah, I think that is going to do it. So uh, roll the outro, future me. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it to the end, hope you guys enjoyed the video and or learned something. Um, Billie Eilish is one of my favorite pop artists. I think she's far and away from the terrible music that's on the radio nowadays. Um, but as always, if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to uh, DM me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll have both of those down below. And also another thing that's still kind of new, I do have my Patreon down below as well. Um, I have some FLPs from um, other YouTube videos that I've done. Um, I have some presets on there and I offer some track feedback for you guys. Um, so if you want to help your boy out in any way, um, all those links will be down below. And um, yeah, I think it's going to do it for this one, boys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Pew.